Amen. Thank you all so much for calling in. Thank you so much for that uh, uh, great word there. But we're getting, we're going to continuously be blessed tonight. Yes. God has truly blessed us tonight. Yes. The Spirit of the Lord is in this house. Uh, the singers have just been off the chain. The guests have just been better than we could have imagined. And our next guest is no exception to that. Uh, we want you to help us welcome tonight um, from mm -hmm. Grand Prairie, Texas. Yes, sir. Amen. Some Texans. Amen. Yes. Sister Laura Brown. Welcome to Atlanta Thank Live. You. Thank you. Good to have you here man. tonight. Good to have you here tonight. Mm -hmm. Glad to have you. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Now, tell us a little bit about, is uh, Grand Prairie your home? Yes, it is. It I'm is. originally from Arkansas, and I Arkansas. relocated to Grand Prairie, Texas. Amen. Is that so, yes. on the part of Texas closer to Arkansas? Or uh, is it far it's, side? it's right outside of Dallas. Right. Oh, okay. It's, okay. it's a suburb of Dallas. Of oh, Dallas. Of oh, Dallas. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Look. Anything with 100 miles of Dallas, suburb of Dallas. I know. Right. Yeah, yeah. But that's wonderful. Now, tell us a little bit about what it is that you're doing and what brings you here tonight? What brings me here tonight is I go throughout the year and I teach um, on financial literacy and I teach to women. My mission and my goal is to educate, inspire, motivate, and mentor young women. Mm. Um, it started out that I was doing empowerment, but then I saw a need there for financial literacy. All I believe right. that if we educate the homes, All which right. most of the time it's single mothers, All then right. they will educate the families, and in turn, we will have better communities. Amen. So. Amen. I totally agree. Yes. Teach them how to fish. They can fend for themselves. Yes. Give them yeah. a fish. They're going to be back tomorrow. I'm hungry again. Right. Yes. But that is so, the cycle has to be broken somewhere, and education is the key. Yes, it is. Yeah. I believe that when we have a healthy, that's the key, a healthy relationship with money, then we don't fear money, nor do we misuse money mm, to yeah. take in place for other things that we have not internally dealt yeah, with. Wow. Yeah, yeah. Money needs to be put in its proper place. Amen. That's true. Amen. I totally agree with that. It's our tool, and then many times we become the tool of money, mm -hmm. you yes. know, instead of it being our tool. Well, how do you do that? When you first address that, then when, let me ask you, do you deal in individual settings or group settings or what, or both? All of those. Um, I do individual one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah. Um, I also teach in group settings. I right now work with a lot of nonprofits, and most of those are going to be women who are in domestic violence situations. Really? And so I teach them how to be self-sufficient, and even those who are in the low income, to be self-sufficient. Um, how I got started into this is, I, in 2009, my grandmother passed away and I didn't even know, mm. you know, what was my purpose? Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. So I was going into depression and yeah. I was, you know, saying, God, I don't want to wake up tomorrow because there's no reason for me to live right. anymore. Okay. You know, my best friend, my confidant, my everything was gone. Yeah. And so, you know, I went through a long series of depression and wow. then mis uh, using money. Mm -hmm. Right. Okay. Um, making a hundred thousand dollars. Didn't even have anything to show for it. Yeah. Wow. So you know, one day I woke up and God showed me. He said, "I have not forgotten you nor forsaken you." Uh. And so I begin to say, "God, what is it?" that I need to be doing All and right. God began to show me for the next year and a half that it's not based upon all the education you have it's not based upon the houses the cars and the money I want you to live a legacy behind All right. All so right. you know I begin to pray and ask God to order my steps and show me and God began to show all me right. all, all right, the sis. things that you've been through all yes, the God. pain that yes. I have allowed you to endure yes. is because of this. He was making mm -hmm. Yes, you can yeah. show others. Yeah. So in this term, that's how I got into teaching empowerment, showing yeah. other young ladies, you know, the different things that it takes yeah. to be, mm -hmm. just because the world has written you off mm -hmm. does yeah. not mean mm -hmm. that you've been yeah. written off. Right. Amen. Amen. I think that's so well put, you know, and I think that's been the theme tonight. Mm -hmm. God has blessed you and has given you the vision mm -hmm. to reach back mm -hmm. and help somebody else out of darkness. Yes. You know, and I think that that, that is so special. That's yes. what ministry is all about. Yes. yes. It's not a, about yes. all, it's about serving. Yes, it is. You know, and, and, and helping 
pulling up a, a weed and planting a flower mm -hmm. and trying to make this a much better place. But I think that I, I like what you've done because tonight so many have been dealing with the least of these, Peace. our brethren. Yes, and amen. you're dealing with the low income, those who many times have never been taught proper financial mm -hmm. management, the yes. importance of credit, yes. the importance of, uh, of, of, of serving yourself and yes. taking sides. Some, mm -hmm. they, they haven't learned how to properly use their money. And so at most times, many of them find themselves with a whole lot of month left at the end of their money. Yes. You know, <laughs> yes. But here yes. you come telling them, hey, it can work. Yes. Yeah. And I, I the financial responsibility yeah. of, now I know I can speak from when I grew up. Yeah. Do you find a lot like when I grew up with my friends that a lot of parents, if you're teaching them parents, not to put the phone bill, the light bill in your child's name, messing up yes. their history even before they grow up. Yes, <laughs> I do deal with that because one of the things that we talk about is whether they know about it, that's financial fraud. <laughs> they are not old enough to commit to it. Right. But I know right. that at times we're not thinking about that. We got to think about how we're going to put this, keep this that's on right. and right. do that's this right. and take care of the responsibility. Right. So right. I do right. run into that. Yeah, I'm sure you do. Oh, you know, my family needs the phone. Yes. <laughs> you yes. know, and my credit is shot. Mm -hmm. Yes. What do I do? Mm hmm. Yes. What, what, you now, of course, now you got these pay as you go phones right. and mm -hmm. things like that, but I need lights. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, and with all that I've tried, I can't keep them on. Right. Well, but true. I got a child, I can use their social security. Mm -hmm. You know, I think that sometimes those decisions take special people <laughs> because they're difficult. Yeah. Right. They're difficult decisions. Mm -hmm. yes. But I think it's wonderful people like you. Yes. Will will challenge that situation and and teach them that mm -hmm. that's don't scold them but teach, teach them right yes how to you know that's Bible. Uh, uh, yeah, yeah how to take lemon and make lemonade yes. right you know. and that's what we try to do when you leave my class I make sure that every tool that I've given you you can apply it to your everyday life Amen. Yeah. Um, even if you are drawing unemployment it doesn't yeah. matter if you are drawing TANF or aid from the state yeah. there are tools that you can do the number one thing I always tell people you have to live by a budget. A budget is not ugly. A budget is not nasty. Mm -hmm. It means if I have a budget, I know how much income is coming in yep. and I know how much my expenses are yep. going mm -hmm. out. Yep. Mm -hmm. yeah, so right. most people, that's the number one thing that mm -hmm. happens. They yeah. get into trouble yeah. because they don't know what their expenses are. Yeah. Mm -hmm. They don't know the interest rate that they're paying for a yeah. car or yeah. credit mm -hmm. cards. And so they just go out there as long as it says you can get, they get I it. shall have. <laughs> you know, the old folks used to put it real plain. Boy, live within your means. Yes, yes. They just tell you right quick, like, you can't spend $20 when you ain't making a 10. That's yes. It. You know, because something got to give somewhere. Mm -hmm. And then you find out, too, when you go through that period of, of bad credit, mm. you know, you pay more for everything. Yes, your you do. interest is more. Yes. The people who can least afford to pay more are yes. the ones who have to pay more. That's right. Come on over here. We'll tote your note for you yes. on the car. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, uh, there was a, a, a radio host who was gone on now who used to say, the quickest way to get on your feet is to miss one of those car notes because yep. they will come and repossess that car, you know, and, and, and that's the truth. It, it's credit makes or breaks a lot of us mm -hmm. financially. Yes. And we have to learn how to make use of it instead of letting our finances. So now where do you usually start? Do you do the assessment? and find out what the problem is prior to start. We do. Later. We have a questionnaire that um, goes over all the information that we need to address. So I try to see what it is. Um, for instance, if you're having problems of paying your bills at the end of the month. So the number one thing, the assessment is going to look at how much income do you have right. and how much expenses do you have coming mm -hmm. out? Because I see people, okay, <laughs> I have a house note that is $1,200. Well, right. I'm only bringing in $1,200. Wow. Right. Right. So at the right. time, it's because they've had a job change right. and mm -hmm. the right. economy is not reviving as much as it was before. Right. So they have to look at doing different things. Maybe it is that you have to go back to your mortgage lender and mm -hmm. ask them to reduce your notes. Mm -hmm. See what is available That's out there right. to you. Amen. That's what That's I right. always say. Your number one resources are always going to be within your community. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. 
or get another job. <laughs> That's you know, I mean, hey, 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 pull, pull, yeah. pull right. one in a part time. And realizing yeah. that the cable bill is not a necessity. Yeah, yeah, yeah. prioritize. <laughs> yeah. Prioritize That's your bill. That's true. Yeah. And I do say all those type of things. Going to the nail shop. Yeah. And I always say, yeah. and this will get me in trouble, but I always tell the women it's not to be mean, but you should not buy a $100 hair if you cannot afford that. You know, we, I say, this is what we are. We are label hoarders mm, yes, because we, we want to wear yes, what we is mm, on a we label. Are. We mm -hmm. want to carry yeah, a handbag right. with not enough money in yeah, it. Yeah. So we want to have the newest, <laughs> yeah, latest, oh, yeah. greatest things. Yeah. It's just like this is a microwave generation. Yeah, we yeah. want everything and we want right it right now. now. Yes. Right now. Amen. And you like you say, dress to the max and all the money you own is in your pocket. Right. Mm -hmm. Every dime that you can get is in your pocket. That's the priorities are out of place. Out of whack. Yes. You know, and, and and I've seen that now in churchdom too. Mm. Churches are, are wising up. Mm. Because it was a time that if you didn't dress up, mm -hmm. folk would look at you funny, mm -hmm. talk about you funny. But now we have we've come to understand that the true character of a person is not in what they have on, but mm -hmm. what they have in. Amen. Yes, amen. amen. You know, amen. And, and so we've learned, and, and, and when folks come, sometimes I've seen, well, I don't have church clothes. Would you guys clean? Yep. Put yes. it on. Just don't come in here with no Daisy Dukes on. <laughs> you know, I'll tell you right up front now. Don't be right. distracting, but just be clean. Yes. And come on, jeans, sneakers, whatever. Yep. It doesn't make any difference. Come on in the house. Amen. You know, you know, because this is God's house. Amen. And then come on in and let him start elevating you and growing you up. Amen. You know, so now y'all are located in Grand Falls. In Grand, Grand Prairie, Prairie, Grand Texas. Prairie, Texas. Yes. That's where you're located. Yes, sir. That's What's where the name of your organization? Uh, it's LEB, which stands for Laura Brown Enterprise. And they call me the Prosperity Diva. Uh, the Prosperity, Prosperity Diva. Diva. Yes. Mm -hmm. Come one trip by uh, <laughs> our sister Laura, and you come in a pauper, <laughs> and you cleave out drizzling with gold. Mm -hmm. Or at least having more sense on how to yes, become sir. a caretaker. Mm -hmm. But I think that that's something. Now, where, where's the, where's, when is the book coming out? The book is already out. We are oh, now. Really? Oh, yes, right. Sir. It's okay. already out. Okay. Um, this will be the third year, and now we've decided to revamp the book. Okay. And what we're going to do is add more content because there are more things that we've seen people asking for and more things that they would love for us to touch on. So we're Well, now, you know, I didn't even know there was a book. Mm -hmm. But I just uh -huh. knew that there was a need for one. Yes. Based on what we're saying, I know that what you need, what you're talking about needs to be put down. Mm -hmm. and so so you're at, at, at updating the book, advancing the book. Yes. Now, how do folks get in touch with you uh, if they want more information? They can go to my website, www.laurabrown.net. LauraBrown.net, mm -hmm. and she will show you how to come out of that dollar. How to come out of it. Into that financial light. Amen. I like that. Amen. It's been an honor and a privilege Thank talking you. to you tonight. God bless you. Yes. And God yes. keep yes. you is my prayer. And uh, and I know Texas is a richer state <laughs> because of you. Amen. Amen. And now we're getting ready to be blessed again by those great guys from oh, Albertville, God. Alabama. Amen. The